Welcome back to another property tour. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Joshua Guevara. I'm an associate broker here with the M Real Estate Group in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And today I'm out here shooting a property tour for some clients that are back east. They're not able to see this property, so we're gonna do a virtual tour today. We are out here at Mountain Hawk Estates with D.R. Horton. We're gonna be looking at the Scarlet floor plan. Now I know I've done the Scarlet floor plan before with D.R. Horton, but again, this client would love to see the color scheme that they're actually doing in this one. Uh, they also have a special interest rate going right now. It's gonna be a 4.75 on an FHA loan, and then it'll be 4.99 on a conventional loan. Uh, this is gonna be the gym that we're looking at today. It is gonna be a three bedroom, two bath, 1,564 square feet. I do have a special guest with me today. I have Avery, say hi Avery. <laughs> She's very shy. Um, this is gonna be a two car garage. Uh, there is no PID here. The HOA is $30 a month and it just covers the common areas. Uh, so there's gonna be like little parks that are gonna be around the area. So just keep that in mind. Uh, this is gonna be a pitched roof with shingles on top. All right, like in the driveway, trying to give you guys a feel for the neighborhood. Um, also trying to give you a feel for the sights and views that you might get. Uh, looks like it's really gonna be over on this side. Uh, we'll go to the backyard and see if we have a better view back there. All right, but we still got construction going, so do keep that in mind. Let's take a look on in the garage. We'll start here. So in here we do have some electrical outlets, um, also your electrical panel. Okay, this is for irrigation timing system. Shocker that I'm actually seeing an actual water heater instead of the tankless water heater. Um, can't really answer to that, but it is fully up to code, so that is a good thing, right? Um, over here, it looks like you could have like a water softener hookup. All right, come on, Avi, let's go. Uh, it is finished. You do have one access point that's coming into the roof here to your attic space boom all right keep that in mind and then over there if you saw that little bell up top it's gonna be your doorbell actually um over here it looks like they had some cracking of the concrete so they're getting it fixed um i would like to see how that kind of progresses because i don't know if it just settled right or what was going on but it looked like it started cracking or maybe they dropped something really heavy uh, coming right into the house from the garage, you're gonna have your utility room, okay? There's only electric, no gas. There's gonna be a clean out, of course, and then your hookup for the washer. Uh, shelving, pretty minimum, nothing too crazy. And of course, your hookup for the ethernet box. Uh, I like how they let you know what the Wi-Fi name and password is. So next time I do an open house, hey, I got a free Wi-Fi, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So let's go back to the front where we enter from the front door. Give you guys a look from here. Cause we do have like a little bit of a front porch area. I do like the fixtures uh, for the garage here. I like that. And of course the two-tone stucco, definitely digging that. But nice little front porch, nothing too crazy. Uh, right here you do have your clean outs, keep that in line, clean outs. And then you're gonna have your irrigation valve control box and the water line coming in. Sorry, let's go and jump on in. Make sure I got a good angle of the home here. Not too bad. It's gonna have a coat closet, okay? Doors are about seven to seven and a half feet. They're gonna have a six panel, all of them. And then uh, brush nickel for the handles. Uh, potential for keyless entry. I uh, gotta check and see if they have a smart home package. No, they do not. It's just a regular doorbell. Because I know certain homes, depending on when they were built, <coughs> would offer the smart home package. So stepping in, you're gonna have your initial living room. That's why it's carpeted, all right? Not too bad, let's try and get a wider look here. There we go. Decent space. Um, in here, you are gonna have multiple outlets, all right? Here's gonna be your three rocker panel for electricity, for the lights. Uh, you're gonna have your ethernet and coax cable on one end. That's going to be this wall, so most likely this would be where your TV would hang, but of course you would have the option to move it over. Um, but at the same time, you just wouldn't have those hookups available on every single wall, okay? So just keep that in mind. There's going to be your thermostat on the wall there. Of course, we're going to have refrigerated air and your furnace uh, is most likely going to be stashed away somewhere, probably in the garage. I have to go double check in that. Uh, and here we're going to have ports that most likely is an upgrade, but... I, Again, this depends on what time this was actually built. 
uh, and what kind of packages they were offering at the time. Uh, so this could have been an upgrade for Quartz, but sometimes they have certain packages, color packages, like you would see on my last Scarlet video. They have certain color packages that they already have pretty much set in stone for specific properties. All right, so over here, you're gonna have 32 inch cabinets, no crown mold at the top. I wanna see if these are soft closing. They are not. Uh, we do have just your regular oven, right? Four burner stove top, Whirlpool stainless steel microwave, okay? Stainless steel Whirlpool dishwasher, and the same goes for the fridge. You have a dual basin undermount sink, okay, of course. New Moen faucet at the top there. You're gonna have a garbage disposal underneath. Um, let's see, this is a little, what was that? It's a tiny little shelf there. Okay, make sure we have some electricity hooked up to this island. Yep, we sure do, that's good. All right, enough space to put some stools out, not too bad. We'll go ahead and check out the guest bedroom and guest bathroom. Okay, stepping into here. Let's go ahead and do the uh, old school measurement, right? I'm gonna use my feet real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, oh, just shy of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so about 10 by 12 are gonna be the guest rooms, okay? Uh, no coax and no ethernet. Uh, outlets in this one, just your regular old outlets. All right, the closet, only the, only the top shelf. Nothing too crazy going on in there. No light. Notice that no lights. Uh, we do have a return air. That is good. So since we don't have the tankless water heater, at least we have the return air is working. So that'll keep those energy efficiency costs down. Uh, over here we're gonna have. Looks like culture marble, okay, for the countertop. What do you need, Avery? You okay? Yeah. All right, and no fixture at the top. We just have the can LED lights. Uh, we got a uh, tub shower insert, and it does look like we have a broken window. Not sure how that happened, but broken window. That's not good, huh, Avery? No. Uh, 12 by 24. I saw it. You saw the broken window? Oh my gosh. Yeah. 12 by 24 tile pretty much throughout uh, the wet areas. And then. I was like, someone broke into their house. No, I hope no one broke into the house. Yeah, right. And then your toilet is not, I mean, I'm gonna say I'm sure it's low efficient, but it doesn't have the setting for the one and two. So it's probably efficient, but not as efficient as it could be. So do keep that in mind. We're gonna check this other bedroom out and then we'll get to the owner's suite. Let me get a little bit of a better yeah, view here. Okay. All right, not too bad. Same, probably about 10 by 12 in this one. Same style of closet. Nothing too crazy going on with that. I mean, it's a, it's a decent amount of space. I, I definitely like the open floor plan. You know, giving a way big look back from here. You know, it's definitely, definitely functional. Not a problem at all. I like the backsplash, that is for sure. Backsplash is a nice little touch. Definitely some tedious work right there with these little tiles. Oh, let's take a look at the pantry. Forgot to show you guys that. Okay, do we have a light for the pantry? Oh, we do. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, sorry. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to the owner's suite. All right, decent size. Let me go ahead and get a old school count in here. See what we are working with. Okay, so we'll go from this side. Uh, this room is gonna have the coax and ethernet. It's gonna be right there next to that one. So it's gonna be on that wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 and a half, 12 and three quarters is what we're looking at there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Just shy of about 14 feet. So, decent sized room. Not crazy, crazy big, but a decent size. We got the his and her cabinets. Sorry, sinks going right here. Still no fixtures over the top. We just have the can lighting up above. 
Um, I know some people might not like that. I feel like you could just take the extra step, put a fixture in place. We do have a can lighting over the shower. 12 by 24 tile in the sh shower. That is a good little deal there. Uh, but you do have the shower in uh, insert there, shower pan insert. Nothing too crazy. It's not like a, a tile mud pan. And then of course you have the soap holder. All right, walk-in closet. Let's take a look, built-in shelves. Not too bad, I'm trying to close this up so we can get a good look at what we're working with here. I like that. I mean, I feel like enough space for your shoes for sure and all the racks are gonna help you out. This side definitely, yeah, it, I mean, it's definitely fun. You could, you could stack up a lot of clothes in here for sure. Not a problem. Of course, your water closet, okay. Not too bad. All right, we'll get to the backyard, take a look at some views. Hopefully we have some views. Looks like the wall's pretty high in the back there. I do love this back door, having the glass being visible to your backyard. Um, very small porch setting. Does not extend out. Uh, very steep, steep dirt right here. Steep, steep, steep. We're gonna try to walk up it. Oh man, definitely soft, it's been graded. Oh, ooh, all right, looks like we have some, uh, I don't know what, what they were doing there. I don't know if you can see that on the door. I'm gonna close up here in just a second. Um, but I think I would want that addressed too. Maybe a, re a fresh layer of paint. I don't know what was going on. I think they oversprayed. All right. But of course, new refrigerated air unit. Looks like it's on a decent slab of concrete right there. Um, this side, you're gonna have a gate. Let's check on this other side. But we'll come back though to that door frame. I don't know if they just got in a rush and ran through it, but looks like there's a couple dings on the stucco here. So maybe a fresh layer of paint would be needed. Look, there's boom, 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 boom. There's a couple little spots that definitely uh, were needing to be patched. I wonder what happened, especially with that broken window. All right, let's take a look at this door frame and I'll get you guys wrapped up back to your days. Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, I guess before I also uh, tune out, I'll give you guys a, a quick breakdown on the, the special interest rates that they're doing and the buy downs you can do. Yeah, there is, it was overspray is what it looks like. Looks like they were supposed to spray this, then spraying it all and kind of, kind of messed everything up. So looks like they're gonna have to redo that. That is something you want to keep in mind. Um, this helm did fall out of contract, so this is why they're kind of scrambling to get it sold. Uh, I think you can definitely work out a deal. Now, let's get really quick into the 2-1 buy-down, okay? So a 2-1 buy-down is pretty much taking your $10,000 that they're offering, which is 5Ks technically for closing costs, 5Ks in flex. Now, when they say 5K and flex, that means you can use it to upgrade the home. But the thing is with this one, you're not allowed to do it because it's already said and done. Everything is already built in this one. There's nothing else you can do, all right? So what you can do is you can take this 10,000 and you can use it towards a 2-1 rate buy down. And what's gonna happen is right now, their interest rates at DR Horton are 4.75 for FHA, 4.99 for conventional. If you go conventional because you might have a larger down payment than just the three and a half percent, then at this point they would do the rate buy down and it would bring you down to your first year of the mortgage, you would have 2.99% interest rate. Then year two of the mortgage, you're gonna have a 3.99 interest rate. Then from year three to year 30 of your loan, you will have a 4.99 interest rate versus where everything at right now is at 6% and higher. I mean, probably even close to seven. So do keep that in mind as a special, special deal. You don't wanna miss out. I'm pretty sure the funds are running out Sunday. I don't know what they're gonna offer next week, right? But the thing is, is DR Horton's been doing this kind of deal where they give these special interest rates and allow you to use your closing costs towards rate buy downs to help you even more. Um, I have a client that was interested in doing this. We saw the numbers at $400,000 and she was only paying 2,000 a month uh, at the 4.99. And she was actually paying about $1,500 a month at the 2.99 and then $1,700 a month on the 399 Okay. 
And of course she did have a substantial amount down. So do keep that in mind. All right, she had over, well, a guaranteed 60,000, okay? So if you ever would like to set up a time to view these properties or if you have any more questions about the 2-1 buy down or some of the special rates that they have, you please do not hesitate to reach out to me at 505-363-7926 or you can email joshua at mregrp.com. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one.